You're watching Indie Shooters back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JVC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, Clint with Indie Shooter. Continue our coverage of the NAB 2019. I'm here with Jared Ivey of Sigma. And I think it's been three years since you uh, launched the Cine line. Is that right? Yeah, correct. We, uh, we announced it in 2016. Uh, started shipping uh, our two Super 35 Zooms the end of that year. Following year, came out with the rest of the line. Uh, and then since then, have introduced three more Cine lenses to the, to the lineup. And uh, these three, when, when did these get announced? Uh, these were announced last year, mm -hmm. and then the uh, the 105, um, it's been shipping for a number of months now, but the 28 T1.5 and the 40 T1.5 just started shipping in the last uh, last two to four weeks. So how many focal lengths does that give us in this series? Is, does that complete the series? or? Uh, so that's 13 right now, uh, mm -hmm. and it is to be continued. I don't know when or, or what, but they are going to be uh, supporting the Cine line you know, further. Um, but yeah, right now we have uh, 10 primes, uh, all full frame, uh, ranging from uh, T2 to T1.5. And then we also have a, uh, we have three zooms, the two Super 35 zooms, the original ones, and then the full frame uh, 24 to 35 T2.2. Talk about the price-wise, what we're talking about with these, uh, with the primes. So the primes range uh, between um, uh, 3,500 and 4,000. Uh, the 14 and the 135, the bookends of the prime, uh, the prime line, uh, are both 4,000. They're also T2s, but everything in between the 24 all the way through um, the 105 are all 3,500. Uh, 3, now, for those that aren't familiar uh, with the with your uh, Cine primes or your your Cine line, these are essentially the same lenses rehoused, right? Is is that correct? Uh, I mean, they're redesigned, but it's the same sharpness and beauty that you're going to get with the Sigma Still line. Correct. Yeah, we use the same optical design that we had in our art series uh, because that was really the inspiration for the Cine line. You know, uh, when Sigma came out with their art series of lenses, they found that many, many filmmakers were using those, uh, both the primes and some of the zooms, and a lot of them were, ha were paying to have them rehoused. Really? So, yeah, so when Sigma started doing research, uh, realized that there was a market for it, um, you know, they already had the... Uh, the optical design set, so they just had to do the R and D on the uh, on the housing. You know, so they did a lot of research, uh, got a lot of feedback as to what filmmakers are really going to be looking at. So you'll find you know things like the, the gears are in the same position, uh, much longer you know throws with the focus, the zoom, obviously being able to adjust the iris, um, having you know uh, consistent uh, front uh, front barrel sizes. Um, I mean, it was all something that, that everybody that everybody wanted. So. Um, even though they use the same optical design, you know, they do, uh, they're a little more picky when it comes to using the glass for the Cine because they want to make sure those are 100% matched. Whereas the, the still line, they're pretty close, but the tolerance isn't as tight as it is with the, with the Cine line. If one was, uh, you know, to describe what the look of a, of a Sigma lens is, how would you describe it? Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of tough because we don't want to really say that there's a Sigma look, but you know, of course, every lens has its own characteristics and its own personality. Um, you know, what people consistently say about the Sigma is they really like the focus fall off. Uh, they love the, the control of the flaring, you know, the, the, the blooming of the highlights. Um, but you do also hear, you know, clean and neutral. Uh, a lot uh, the saturation of the colors is great so you get very true colors um, you know so for a lot of people that's that's boxes that they want to they want to check off you know obviously um, whatever lens uh, you know, it, it depends on the purpose of the lens you know whatever kind of uh, project you're shooting you know some some lenses have characteristics that, that don't check those boxes but it fits more for the project that they're doing you know if you're doing a period piece obviously you want something that's a lot more subtle maybe a little bit of color shift um, yeah, you know, but we're we're finding that uh, our market for these initially was the owner operators, because of the price point. You know, owner operators could get a, a line of or a set of, of extremely sharp, you know, full frame, distortion free, quality glass at a very very reasonable price. At the same time, what that did was kind of put us into a category of, of budget lenses. Um, so it's funny, a lot of rental houses and a lot of, you know, bigger productions really weren't looking at that because they were used to, you know, the, uh, the tried and true, you know, higher end uh, lenses. However, what we found is a lot more rental houses and bigger productions are, are starting to look at the Sigmas, um, just one by word of mouth, but two, when they have, you know, gone to start testing out lenses for a project and they need something that's fast, um, you know, that's, that's very wide and they can cover full frame and they see what the Sigmas can do. 
they're really impressed. They want to see the entire line. So now we've had some some major productions, you know, some some feature films that have been shot in them that just wrapped. Some are in production now. Um, so it's just you know, it's it, the 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 momentum is is increasing. So I was going to ask you about that. I've heard around town a little bit that there have been some pretty serious productions that are utilizing this class. Can you talk a little bit about it? I can now. Yeah, no? we're, we're not at liberty to say, but you said, this, you know, if you, if you go around the industry and you, you, you talk to enough people, you can find out what they are. Do you have some other uh, glass here for, what, what are these? Uh, yeah, so the, the most recent announcement from Sigma has been uh, a new line of lenses to support the L mount. Um, as you know, back in uh, September of last year at Photokina, Leica, Sigma, and Panasonic announced the L mount alliance. So all three manufacturers are going to be making cameras and lenses to support the L mount. Um, so your Leica already had their, their SL camera, you know, and I think what, seven lenses maybe. Uh, Panasonic just started on Thursday, I think, selling their S1 and S1R cameras. They have three lenses right now. Uh, we just announced 11. So all of our primes, we're going to be making an L mount. Uh, not available yet. They'll be available a little bit later this year. Um, but what is going to be coming really soon within the month uh, is we're shipping our new mount converter, the MC21, which is a uh, converter from the EF mount to L mount. And just like the MC11 that we created for uh, Sony for the E mount, for the EF to E mount, um, you know, we're going to guarantee 100% compatibility, obviously, with um, you know, with any of our EF mount lenses. And it doesn't have any optics in it, does it look like, right? No, no, yeah, just just uh, just electronics. And then, yeah, and it'll pass through, like all the electronics will work. It's not going to, it'll, I mean, everything, all the functionality of the lens will be there, right? Uh, correct. You know, because it's it's brand new, um, you know, I was able to test this with the brand new, you know, Panasonic uh, cameras last week. Um, you know, it, we are, it does autofocus in, in all the modes, um, you know, but there is some, some firmware that's going to have to be updated, I think, from, uh, from both manufacturers just to get a little bit more accuracy when it comes to um, you focus in some of the auto autofocus modes. Um, you know, but manual focus, obviously, everything looks great. And in a few of the autofocus modes, you do have 100% compatibility as of now. Now, a lot of people uh, in the summertime coming up, they travel to Los Angeles to vacation or whatever. And one of the things that's there now is a beautiful Sigma showroom and demonstration area and everything like that. You guys just we went to the premiere. What was, what was that? How long ago was that? A couple of months ago? Uh, yeah, that was the beginning of, of November. Yeah, I can't believe it's, it's, yeah. already been, it's already been that long. It feels like it's just been a couple of months. Um, yeah, so we have 11,000 square foot facility uh, in, in you know, the, the media hub in, in Burbank. We're just off the five um, on the other side of, uh, of downtown Burbank. Um, you know, a third of that is a, a very large showroom. We have a wall very similar to what's what's behind us here. Um, you know, we have a set, we have lights, we have a little lounge, so people can come in. Um, you know, uh, take their time, bring in cameras. We have cameras, but they can you know sit and test uh, you know for as long as they want. The showroom is open Monday through Friday, ten to four. Where you know we ask that people can uh, book demo or you know book an appointment, but walk-ins are obviously welcome. And there's parking there too. That's important, right? Yes, yes. For especially for Burbank, yeah, we actually have a uh, we have ample parking. So, uh, and and not only is that facility there for uh, for showroom purposes, we also have a service center there just for the Cine line right now. Uh, we might scale up to do uh, to, you know to do more of the more of our products down the road, but right now it's it's just Cine. Uh, but we're also doing a lot of industry events where we're you know hoping to do about two to three a month. So, uh, how do people find out about all of those events? Uh, so you can sign up at our uh, uh, on our email list uh, if you go to sigmacine.com. It's s i g m a c i n e dot com. Uh, we'll also list all of our events there. Excellent. And people want to find out more about the lens uh, lenses. Uh, the same website, yes. Yes, sigmacine.com. You're watching Indie Shooters back to back coverage of NAB 2019, sponsored by 16 by 9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss.